Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a glowy summer look. I'm wearing a brighter lip than I usually would. I'm very stuck in my ways and I love my nudes so for me to go for something a little bit more pink is a step forward. Let's just say that. I'm also going to be showing you how to get this very dewy and glowy skin. So if you would like to see how I achieve this makeup look then please keep watching. Okay, so can we first of all just address this issue? And this one. And this one. Okay, so I'm going to start off by prepping my face with my Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep. This is a Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. what it's so hot outside today so this is cooling me down so much oh it's so cold okay i think i've got too much on <laughs> okay so to hide these rather red and lovely spots i'm going to use the nip and fab color corrector this one is in the shade peppermint i'm going to dab some of that on if I look over here, uh, it's because my mirror is over there. I know it's annoying. Oh, this spot really hurts. Oh. Pop a little bit around my nose as well. That's a bit red no. Then I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit with a BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number 139. Lord, give me strength to cover this spot. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to use the Iconic London Pigment Sticks. I haven't tried these before, but I have heard great things, so I thought I would give them a go. I'm going to use two different shades because one's too light for me, one's too dark for me. I'm going to mix together the shades Icon 1 and the shade Icon 3.1. Now, this one does actually seem quite dark, so I'm literally going to use like the tiniest bit. I know I look crazy, bear with. I'm then going to blend it in with the Iconic London brush. I'm not sure which one this is, but it's a round buff and brush. I am also going to cream contour with these sticks, so to contour I'm going to use the shade 3.1. Then before I do any concealer under my eyes, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm not sure whether I'm going to cut this bit out or speed it up because it takes ages, so we'll see. Okay, so I have done my eyebrows and I primed my eyelids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm now just going to conceal under my eyes and that horrible spot. 
using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Then I'm going to set underneath my eyes using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and a Sigma F25. I love this powder because it literally gives no flashback whatsoever. I used a NYX one the other day because I wanted like a cheap alternative. It was awful. Like, I look patchy. Oh god. Photos. I just look like a ghost. It was not cool. Safe to say, I will not be using that. And because we want to keep this look a little bit more fresh and glowy and dewy, I'm only going to set in a few like oily prone areas. So I'll set my chin and of course my lovely spot. Bridge of my nose a little bit and the centre of my forehead I'm just going to pat a little bit on. I am also just going to pop on a little bit of bronzer because it's me guys, I have to. I can't not put bronzer on. It's like a sin. Also, I just want to apologise for the lighting. When I started filming, it was really bright, and now it's just not. So, if the lighting has changed, I do apologise. So, for my eyes today, I'm going to be using my... Christ, I almost took myself out. The Morphe 35P palette. I'm going to start with this shade right here, which is quite a creamy shade. I'm going to apply that to my crease using a E40. Me in a little bit, then you can see what I'm doing. I'm then gonna take this champagne coloured eyeshadow then I'm gonna take this brown shade right here because it's not too warm and it's not too ashy so this is the little guy we're gonna go for. Then I'm just going to apply some lashes and the lashes that I'm going to apply are these ones. These are the Girls Without Judy Unicorn Lashes. Okay, so now I've got my lashes on, I'm just going to go underneath my eye with some of that brown eyeshadow that we used in the outer corner. Then moving on to mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline the, the Maybelline the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. Then 
Then for blush today, I'm going to take the shade Plum Foolery. This one's by MAC. I'm going to apply that using a Sigma F40. So for highlighter today, I'm so excited because I finally get to try the iconic Illuminator Drops. I did do a little swatch of this in the back of my hand the other day and then I put the pot down on the bedside table later on in the evening, accidentally knocked it, didn't screw the lid on properly, Illuminator Drops all over the, all over the floor. I mean, my floor looked pretty and sparkly, but I lost half of this pot. I don't have best of luck with highlighters, do I? So I'm just going to drop a bit of this on here. Oh, it looks so pretty. I want lots of highlighter. I'm going to look that up here. Then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Ooh, I like these. So last but not least, I'm going to take Max Spice Liner and just quickly line my lips. Then for lipstick, I'm going to take the shade Chatterbox by MAC. I wanted to use something a little bit brighter. Um, I didn't want to sway towards red because I feel like red's not that summery. Each their own. If you want to wear red, you do you. But I'm going to go for a more of a pink tone. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. As big as these ones. And if you are new here and you're not already subscribed, then please press subscribe. So as always guys, have a fabulous week and I will see you again next time.